know, sometimes I don't have a uh, title for my videos and things like that. I just like to share whatever I do. Uh, so no, you guys, maybe you don't understand anything, anything what I say, but some of you guys try to, and probably you try hard, right? <laughs> but it's what it is. You know, I just try to. One day I'm gonna share with you guys the real story behind Jose. Now the truck, Jose. So myself. So it looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I see something over here. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. So while recording over here, I noticed something on this. Take a look. So what I do here, Austin Park Foundation, is my part day. First Saturday of March. So somebody forget these things right here. So this can be good for science, but this is not ours, guys. This belongs to somebody, so we're not gonna mess with. Even I can use this for my science, no. Those cost a dollar at dollar store, so I'm just gonna leave those. Don't mess with Texas, okay? <laughs> Ooh, oh, look at this. No way, that's nice. To prevent fire. I mean charcoal, no trash. Okay, so just walking on the park. Feels so good. It was so cold this morning, guys. So cold, 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 cold. Not like yesterday, one of my videos on Instagram, I was sharing that uh, it was super cold that I was not able to feel, uh, to feel my nose. But actually, it was here. <laughs> it was here or it was there, whatever one of those words. But it is cold. It is cold and it's breezy. But, if, but like, like I say, it feels so good. I can feel my nose. But it's here. Just walking over here in the park. Maybe one of the most boring, uh, boring videos. Pretty much all my videos are boring. Take a look. So we can play soccer. Oh, this is nice. See the little bench? So we can sit here on the little bench. How cool is this? I feel trapped. I feel trapped. You know, one of the reasons, guys, uh, why I enjoy working outdoor, because you feel free, you know? Feel the breeze. You feel alive. You interact with people, you know. Lots of people that you see on the street. In the office, it's kind of hard because uh, um, I used to be inside the building. And maybe uh, you probably just talk to the neighbor and that's it, sitting and probably walking around same spot doing nothing but let me get comfy and let's talk about something guys so i am basically uh sitting over here in the grass because you want to feel the grass see this is how i get my money chopping grass not chopping chopping like with the machete but different way so yeah guys like i was mentioning uh i'm so happy for new subscribers and uh my old subscribers that i have my channel is growing a little bit i'm picking up some subscribers um i don't know how that's happening but um i'm getting very uh excited because uh that means people watching uh, my boring videos and i know the idol girls uh they haven't been in my videos uh lately but the thing is the girls are getting uh, busy uh maddie is going to college uh this year so she's working like crazy you know uh, especially uh um starting um and the thing is like she already got a sector on three uh three universities uh here in texas so i'm still thinking she's waiting on 16 more um i want her to be close to me 
Um, it's my first daughter, you know, I love her so much. She's kind of like uh, my right hand on my business. Like, you know, she, you know how, uh, if you haven't seen my videos, but if you know her for a little while, she's been uh, one of the uh, great one uh, operating the zero turn, the wall behind. And yeah, like I say, and Yancy, the crazy girl, um, she wants to be in the videos, but she's still tiny. She only weighs 78 pounds and she like 10 times a day. So what does that mean? She weighs 78 pounds, so she's not allowed to operate any uh, heavy equipment. And she 10 times a day, what does that mean? I had to be stopping on every fast food restaurant with her because she want to eat a lot all the time. That's how she is. That's how she normally is. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't uh, been able to keep the girls with me. Uh, so far I've been working by myself. Uh, not by myself, sometimes I get some help from Manuel. And uh, uh, that's it. That's pretty much only when I have uh, like a beat job, so like lots of lambs. So Dallas Meetup. So we're going to Dallas Meetup. This is the truth. Probably, let's say something first. So Maddie is in the, um, she's, in the, she's a performer, she's a dancer. So with that being said, I was ready to go the whole weekend with the family and um, we got our rooms, our hotels ready, you know, and our plans, where we're gonna eat, where we're gonna go up and things like that. So she came last week and she said, Dad, you know, our teacher, uh, our performer uh, teacher got fired because this and that. And then we have a, we have a performer day. It's gonna be out of town. And uh, I think it's gonna be in San Antonio, Texas. And, uh, I had to be there the whole day uh, on Saturday and we're gonna get back home probably by 9 p.m. And I was like, really? And she said, yes, dad. And that's gonna happen this Saturday, 29. I look at my lovely wife and I told her, but we're going to Dallas. We're gonna go to the uh, burrito meetup. So now, it's kind of like, I got my family, I got my friends. I want to go to Dallas and with all the things happening around the world, you know, crazy things uh, happening with these young ladies. Um, so I'm afraid to leave my daughter. She say, Dad, I can call you. I can face times every two hours, every one minute, whatever you want. I can just be in contact with you and blah, blah, blah. And my wife is like, no, we're not going to left you alone. Uh, we're not gonna leave. So I have a plan B, which my wife is not agreeing with me right now. And is probably driving to Dallas Saturday night with Yancy and uh, get a room, stay over there for one night, go to the meetup and then we can just come back, you know, same day on Sunday, the, the next day on Sunday. But she's like, uh, I'm not agree with you on that plan because I know you're not, you're not a good person driving a long ride, especially going all the way to Dallas. So I agree. So I need to have somebody with me, you know, to drive. So probably, uh, and that's the reason, uh, that's the reason why I'm asking uh, my wife to let Jancy go with me and Jancy said, yeah, I wanna go and blah, blah, you know. So we can go have dinner with Jancy <laughs> over there. So I'm still thinking guys, I don't know what's gonna happen. I just, you know, like I said, I really wanna go there cause I know it's gonna be a lot of new people that I haven't met uh, in the past, especially last year. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I wanna go there. I know Ben from Nakmi and KH, they're gonna drive by. I don't know who else. I haven't talked to Tino uh, from AJ's from San Marcos, Texas, but definitely I wanna go. 
So probably I'm um, gonna try to convince my wife. Maybe I can take her shopping uh, early on Saturday or tomorrow. Today is Thursday. So yeah, Friday, tomorrow, I can take her shopping, you know, and, and I can ask for permission. So, you know, but like I said, guys, I think my break is over and I need to get back, cut some grass. And yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. That's a, uh, like I was mentioning, it's a boring video just talking, but at least you get to see this beautiful view from Austin, Texas. Uh, we have a tongue lake, uh, probably like five minutes away from here, maybe like three minutes. So it's just a really nice place, especially uh, for, uh, for people who like to do activities in the water. Uh, this is a huge park over here, lots of activities. But yeah, like I say, I'm not sure if we're gonna-